Hello again, guys. Let's talk about some coins. Hi, welcome back. Right, today we're going to talk about three coins in particular. These are from uh, Great Britain. They are the Humble £2 coins. Um, we've got the Trinity House £2, the Charles Darwin £2, and the Double Helix DNA uh, £2. They're all spendable. Obviously, I'm collecting them. And uh, let's talk about the first one. Right, this is the 2014 Trinity House £2 coin. And there we have it. It's bimetallic. So on the outside is nickel and brass alloy. And in the middle is copper and nickel. And on the, on the front here, we got Trinity House at the top, followed by some dates, 1514 to 2014. That's 500 years of maritime safety. Uh, Trinity House was a it was an organisation that was um, sanctioned by King Henry VIII um, at the beginning, at the early part of the 16th century. Maritime safety was quite crucial. Um, as the Royal Navy uh, at the time um, expanded. So <clears throat> there we are. And this one here is of a um, a lens of a lighthouse commemorating that. And on the bottom we have two pounds. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. On the reverse we've got our very own Queen Elizabeth. And she is wearing a different tiara on this one. Yeah, I say tiara, it's not a crown. And it's something to do. Hang on, let me find. Oh, that was it, yeah. She's wearing the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. So there we are. And the writing around it translates to Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen Defender of the Faith. There we are. Oh, incidentally, the uh, the engraver is a very known, a well known sculptor in Britain um, by the name of Ian Rank Broadley, and he's responsible for the design of many other British coins. So there we are. Sorry, going back to the Trinity House coin, I forgot to mention um, on the edge it's milled, so it's all. It's got lines all over it, and it's actually stamped, serving the mariner around the edges. There we are. Right, so the next one we're talking about is the 2009 Charles Darwin £2 coin. And this one... On the front there, it's got a picture of Charles Darwin and an ape. At the top, we have 1809 to 2009, and that's to commemorate the 200th anniversary of the birth of Mr. Darwin. And underneath, we have, of course, two pounds. On the other side, we have our Queen Elizabeth II again. And she's wearing the same tiara, um, the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. This one is also bimetallic, so the centre is uh, copper and nickel, and a nickel brass outer ring. Uh, let's look under the scope. You see there's the uh, ape there. There's Darwin himself with his big bushy beard. And his head actually goes over into the uh, nickel brass ring there. Which is kind of cool. Charles Darwin, um, as I'm sure we all know, is um, 
He was a naturalist and geologist and a scientist. And he's, I think we we best know him for um, <clears throat> his knowledge into the science of evolution. So there we have it. Let's see if we can see the ring. Around the edge there, we got the origin of species around the rim. There we have it. So the Darwin coin. Right, this is the uh, the last uh, two pound coin I want to talk about. It's the two thousand and three D double DNA double helix two pound coin. This one is a commemorative coin again, and it's uh, commemorating the discovery of the double helix. Um, DNA strand. So on the front now we have, you can see wiggly lines, that's the actual double helix DNA. And it's uh, if we look under the scope, <clears throat> you can see all the uh, different letters, presumably something to do with DNA. I'm not a scientist, so I wouldn't know. And if you look at the bottom here, there is a squiggle. I'm not sure what that squiggle is exactly. I'd imagine it might be something to do with the engraver. The engraver of um, that design in particular is a chap called John Mills. And on the other side, we have Elizabeth II again. And she's again wearing the, the girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. And the chap that engraved that image was again Ian Rank Broadley, as I mentioned earlier. If we look again under the scope, underneath Lizzie's neck, there's his initials. So that's pretty cool. Hi, Liz. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, yeah, that's quite an interesting coin. Around the edges, let's see if we can read it. Nope. I can't pronounce that word, but there we have it anyway. Deoxyribonucleic <laughs> acid. There you go. It says that anyway, and a pretty picture after. But that's pretty cool. It's really collectible coin. Uh, there's not many of these actually around. Um, according to Namista, um, <clears throat> of the circulating version, there's just over 4 million that were made. So it's quite a low number if you consider the amount of people in the population. So <clears throat> that's the double helix DNA two pound coin. Right then guys, that's it for this episode of Coin Thing. I hope you found something interesting um, other than you know what you can just spend. Um, so if you uh, do check your change, always keep an eye out for these things. They really are collectible and it's something nice to pass on to your kids um, or whoever. Um, otherwise, you know how coins go sometimes. They get worn or they get destroyed or lost forever. So, yeah, it's always good to keep an eye out and collect them. And if you have spares like I do, I share them and give away sometimes. So uh, it's always good to share. <clears throat> so anyway, I hope you found this interesting. As I have, great learning journey. Uh, please give my video a thumbs up and I shall or com and definitely leave a comment. I would really appreciate the feedback and I shall definitely see you on the next one.